illegal sniper, code 6 Charles, appears to have multiple weapons. Use all caution. Repeat, code 3 to Alexander Hotel. Protect persons on street. Keep cover. All available units in downtown area, code 3. seconds. Bobby Tom Farley, 19 years old. Out of state driver's license and no other ID. 19. What possible motive could he have had? Well, on one level, that's easy, Gillis. He barricaded himself in his room as soon as he realized the maid had seen all the weapons he had stashed in there. The unit showed up to investigate. He panicked and he started firing. But why all the weapons? I don't know, Webster. I just don't know. But there must be some reason. I'm sure there is. I'm not sure we'll ever find out what that reason is, though, but I am sure a reason exists. Uh, don't put your uniforms in those lockers. There's still tear gas on them. Have them cleaned as soon as possible. And, uh... You did pretty good. Yeah. yeah if you call killing someone pretty good. The problem was for keeping some people alive. You know, the ones on the street. I know that, Mike. But why does a 19-year-old kid start a war all by himself? I don't know. You picking up, Jill? Yeah, got a half hour. Why don't you meet us at bar next to the uh, hotel? I'll buy you both beer. Well, we thought you guys would have had enough of that place. I gotta get the bartender's signature on his eyewitness report. Okay, I'll see you in a half hour. Excuse me. Uh, was there an accident here or something? What happened? No, a gunfight. Some kid up there on the fifth floor started taking pot shots at the cops. You could hear it all over town. What happened to him? They killed him. They went in there with tear gas, blew him the kingdom come. I guess some of that tear gas is still in the air, huh? What do you mean? Take a look at your partner there. Thanks a lot. Take a look. Just don't come apart on me now. Thank you, Bobby. Don't change anything. We can still it get out of here. Wait a minute. Don't come, do you? What the shit? Now it's wheels, Riley. Wheels. <gasps> you got that pain again? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 
Only got us 200 miles, Frawley. Listen to me, Frawley. Just 200 miles, you hear? <laughs> you want a drink? I'll help you, huh? Okay, get your drink on. Relax. Okay, come on. Try to get it together. What I mean is... There just isn't any point to anything we do if we don't learn something from it. But you're liable to find yourself buying a lot of easy answers because you can't accept the fact that sometimes there just aren't any answers. Let me hold the cord, huh? Play some music. Yeah. <laughs> hey, play a little Leon, huh? Mm hmm Hey, what's wrong with the machine? Hey, my friend, is that your motor home out there in the alley? No, not ours. Oh. Well, how, how about you? You know who that motor home belongs to? Sure do. It's mine. Uh, you boys looking to buy one? Yeah, we're sort of interested, but not in buying. Yeah, some people do uh, rent them. Yeah, and some people take them. What are those people? Hey, get over there. Come on, clean out that cash register and give me the key to that bucket out in the alley. Come on. This all you got? I keep the tens and twenties under the tray. All right. Is he dead? No, but it could be a rain. Well, I'm afraid that makes you two witnesses. Yeah, to armed robbery and ADW. But if you guys would wise up and get that man a doctor. Holy. Let me see your, let me see your wallet. You waiting for me to say please? I know one thing. We ain't got ourselves a couple of witnesses. We got ourselves a couple of tickets out of here. for kidnapping a police officer? Yeah, 15 yards and lost it down. Go ahead. times you were telling me about? No reasons, no answers? I hope not. This is one time we better find some answers. Why don't you take Jill home? I'll keep you posted. Okay. 
But you only have to look over your shoulder to keep me posted. See you at the precinct. Right. I'm going to take you home and then go back to the precinct. The precinct until they find Willie and Terry. They do the same for me. I know. Mike, one thing, though. What's that? You know the way the bartender's mouth and his hands were taped? Yeah. Well, stuff's all hospital issue. You can't just pick it up at a drugstore. Good one. I'll tell Rocker that when I get to the precinct. <laughs> It's been 30, 40 miles since I had a drink. And like the preacher says, man lives not by blow, old buddy. You shouldn't drive and drink. <laughs> That's terrific. Here you are serving 40 to life for murder one, and now you're bucking for a traffic safety award. Well, how are passengers doing? Getting along all right? They ain't been that talkative. Maybe those ropes have tied their tongues, too, huh? Oh, he was real talkative back there at the bar. Look, would you drink that drink and get this thing going? My head is killing me. Remember, he was telling us all about the penalties for people who help and kidnap police officers. Maybe we ought to tell them about the penalty for people who kill people's brothers. Killing a boy 19, that's below the bottom. That's looking up to low. It's a bad one, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. I get this show on the road. We'll be there before you know, Funny. often enough. I'm sorry, I just meant that we're training for a stake. Maybe we could help. No, you couldn't. Thanks. No, I know what's wrong and I know what I'm going to do about it. Then you want up on us. Do you mind telling us where we're going? Yeah. We're going to get rid of my headaches. any time on this. Fingerprints on the glasses belong to Webster and Gillis. So we can assume that they are being held hostage. The bartender's wife says he drove a motorhome to work. The motorhome is missing. The wife cannot remember the license plate number. DMV will have it to us in a few minutes. Any other prints in the bar? Thousands. All right, I got a line on the kid in the hotel room. His brother broke out of Utah three days ago with another guy. They were both aides in the prison infirmary. Names and descriptions as follows. The first one is Ben Farley, Caucasian, age 36 years, 5'11", 170 pounds, brown hair and brown eyes. Lieutenant. Yes, Danko. Could they possibly be the two guys that were in the bar? Jill said that tape was hospital issue. They could be, Danko. They very well could be. Is he alone or has he got a partner? 
He's alone. He's waving me over. Pull over, then. Either of you yells, I'll kill the other one. thing in that patrol car out of sight. Oh, sir. Oh, yeah, sure. Out of sight. How are we going to do that little thing, huh? Tell me. You'll take a little detour. What? You're not going to train across that way, are you? Tate, buddy, we did 10 years maximum security state pen. We ate slop that dogs wouldn't eat. We got thrown into the black slam for doing nothing. After 10 years of that, hell oughtn't to be so bad. bits and pieces. Nothing very conclusive. Yeah, what you got in here? Just beef stew. I didn't know you'd be home for dinner. Well, I'll take anything I can get. Do you want a drink or something? Oh, no. Well, maybe I'll have a beer. Oh, by the way, you were uh, right about those two guys. They do have a medical history. Yeah? I don't know whether it helps much. These two, the picture's not very bright. Why not? It seems that one of the guys is the brother of that kid that got killed this morning. If he finds out that Terry and Willie were involved... Oh, I don't know. There's no way of knowing, babe, you know? <laughs> don't do this, Mike. Don't be less honest with me than you'd be with yourself. Now tell me what you really think. I think if he finds out they were involved, he'll kill them both. He hasn't killed them already. He likes it tuned up real loud. Said it helps him get his mind off those attacks he gets. He told us he knows why he gets the attacks. Yeah, on account of the tumor. What tumor? Well, they spotted it about six months ago. Said there wasn't anything they could do. Get farted less than a year, that's all. And then, Holly's brother, Bobby Tommy, heard about this new place across the border where, I don't know, they got this new medicine supposed to dissolve them things. And Farley and me decided we better get on down there while there was still time, so that's where we're headed, in case you want to know. You know, some of those places, they're selling blue sky. I've never heard of a drug that dissolves a tumor. Me neither. <laughs> Except at this place. So I figure it's probably all a shuck. Ain't likely to help them none. See, so you racked up two men 
and kidnapped us for something you can't help. Well, I got other reasons just as good. Because we're out now. And out isn't just better than in out. It's being alive. In is being nothing. Being in is like being a, I don't know, stone. That's no way to be. That phony clinic means hope to Farley. And him and me, were prison kin. So I'm gonna keep him hoping just as long as I can. Any way you can? When I smell water, I'll think about a way to cross the bridge. Oh, I'll tell you guys one at a time, let's use the can. 19-year-old sniper identified by Tom Farley was shot and killed by officers Webster and Gillis and Danko of the SC Police Department. You better let him know what's happening. It's okay, Farley just wants to use a can. It ain't okay. Radio was just talking about Bobby Tom getting killed this morning. It's also talking about who it was did the killing. Stay right here, Folly. If you stay here. Patrol says their man was somewhere in this area here, the last they heard from him. Oh, there's a lot of ground to cover. What happens if they go up here to Interstate 12? If they're still in the motorhome, they'd have been picked up. That thing sticks out like a sore thumb. If they've acquired a second vehicle, they might have slipped through. How can they slip through a roadblock? There isn't any roadblock. We were denied permission to set one up. You can't close down six interstate highways on a possible. Wait a minute. What about... What about that roadblock a couple of months ago? Why was that different? Beca because it involved a civilian? I don't think so. Okay, then why? I think it's because... because I've already written Webster and Gillis off. Come on, it's almost 6 a.m. We're not accomplishing anything around here. Let's head out to the highway patrol, see if we can get them to put a chopper up. Why don't you call them? Because they're not going to say no to my face. Through that door. 
Hey, how come I didn't get shot? Huh? Do you think maybe Tate conned Farley into thinking we're both dead? Why? Farley had his chance to kill us. He didn't take it. He didn't? Leaving us out here is a much of a favor. But it's, it's not a bad deal when you consider the alternatives. Give me a hand, will you? Yeah. We've talked a great many times on the telephone. Please, sit down. Thank you. I'm sorry that we can't meet when I could be of more service to you. Well, perhaps you can explain to me why you can't be of service, Captain Chetry. Two of my men are missing, after all. And one of my men is missing, after all. Seems to me all the more reason why you want to get a bird up and go looking for those boys. I'd like to very much, but this says no. The weather report says there's a chance of high winds, and our pilot doesn't think it's advisable to fly in high winds. I'm sorry. Well, then let Danko here take it up. I was in the Air Force, but I... Well, of course you're in the Air Force, Danko. Where else did you learn how to fly a helicopter? Well, what were you going to say, man? We haven't got a lot of time here. Uh, I was just going to say, yeah, I've flown in a lot worse winds than that. No sweat. All right, then. That settles it. Uh, wait, just uh, one moment. Uh, your man is willing to fly? Yes, he is. All right, you two wait here. Maybe our pilot didn't understand how pressing this is. I want to know what we would have done if you'd let me take that copter out. Beats me, Danko. Yeah. How's the leg? Throbs a lot. Sounds like it might be infected. Sounds like it. Feels like it. Let's move. Okay. thing it ain't, ain't all that's it's cracked up to be yeah but nothing else is lately it's all big hype you know that william instant coffee instant tea never figured out a way to make instant water today Well, no 
telling where they left the highway patrolman. If he's even alive. At least they left the first aid kit. Yeah. Oh, no. It's only an eighth of a tank. It's not enough. Maybe 10, 12 miles in this kind of soil. Well, let's turn this thing around and take our shot. His leg don't look so good. Huh? Yeah. the engine. Okay, okay, what do we do now? Don't do anything. You do. You start walking out of here. Uh-uh. No way, forget it. I'm not gonna leave you here in the middle of nowhere. Look, Willie, I don't want to die. I had a grandfather who lived to be 93, and I was hoping to break that record. But I'm not gonna make it unless you get your tail on out of here and get us some help. If I go with you, neither of us are gonna make it. Because I can't go another 10 yards, much less another 10 miles. Okay? Okay. You better get inside, out of the sun. Anything in here you want to take with you? Any flares in there? Hey. Later, huh? You bet. <laughs> hey, just thinking, uh, friend of mine used to say, Paticas porque te quiero. He meant, think, don't fail me now. Stay out of the sun. <laughs>
Supposed to be dead, young man. Hey, hey, not too much. You get the cramps. If that's the price I have to pay, I'll pay it. All right, come on now. Let's get back to the egg beat and we'll go find Gillis. Which way were they headed? That way. Follow the tracks. I figured that, uh, They'd be heading towards the highway, too. That's about right. Five miles really should be there by now. Well, let's not keep it waiting. You told me he was dead. You told me... You told me that we're both dead. Why did you lie to me, huh? Why? I just didn't think there was any point killing him, Foggy. Oh. I just want to get more heat on us, and we got enough as it is. Your, your buddy, your partner. Yeah. Don't tell me he's alive, too. Yeah, he's still alive. Dead cops won't make Bobby be alive. I don't need any comments, friend. I mean, that's what you are, aren't you, my friend? My lying friend. Any lie I told you was to help you, Farley. Help us both. We took them both as hostages, remember, not to kill them. Hell before I found out what they did to Bobby. Farley, your friend's just trying to help you. He only lies to help, just like that other lie. There's enough mouth out of you. What are you talking about, Blue Buttons? He's just talking, Farley. He's just trying to steam me up, that's all. Yeah, but whatever he's trying to do, he's making you all feel nervous. I, I said, what are you talking about? Don't. What lie are you talking about? That lie about how that clinic across the border is going to help you. You don't know what you're talking about, buddy. My, my brother told me all about that place. He told me. He read an article. You remember what it said. You remember all about that article, don't you? Don't you, Tate? Yeah. He remembers. He remembers. He just doesn't believe it. My brother wasn't lying. Nobody said he was lying, Farley. What are you saying? I'm just saying that your brother was a 19-year-old who probably found that article in some magazine between some muscle ads and a coupon for pin-up playing cards. And he wanted to believe because he wanted you alive. And Folly, I do too. <laughs>
back unconscious. Well, there's nothing in here. You know, I've never seen a desert gas station without a tow truck. Have you? suits would feel so good. Well, you look dashing. You look very much at home. Thank you. And how are you, Gillis? You feeling any better now that you got your reason? My reason, sir? Well, yes. Earlier, you were upset because Farley's brother didn't appear to have a reason for what he did. Well, he did have a reason. He did what he did to save his brother's life because he valued it as if it were his own. I'm sure you can understand that, Gillis. What do you think? You guys game for a little uh, homecoming dinner? How about a shore dinner? How's that sound? Okay. Well, anything that comes out of the water is fine with me. What's the main course? Sand dabs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 